A Canadian soldier lost in the fighting that followed D-Day now has a final resting place in France. Family of Sergeant Collis are there to take part in the ceremony, seeing his remains interred decades after he was lost to them, falling in a bloody battle that was spearheaded by Canadian forces. Today, we remember. Today, we want to honor the courage of John Albert Collis. We're overwhelmed. This has been an amazing experience and it's just amazing to be able to honor him and honor all the other men and women that are here and have served for our country and it's, it's just been a huge honor being part of this entire process. He was killed in July 1944 and his remains were buried here, at least some of them. It was only decades later in 2017 when the remains of a Commonwealth soldier were found. They were analyzed by the Canadian Department of National Defense and it was only this year that the family of Sergeant John Albert Collis was notified that those remains belonged to him. We had a soldier who was already buried in a cemetery. Um, there was a ring with the initials JAC on it who did not correspond to any soldier who went missing in the area who had no known grave and only truly corresponded with Sergeant Collis. It's more of an honor for my mother. My mom grew up not knowing who her dad was. Um, it was always a touchy subject with her. So when we pulled in this morning, a lot of thoughts about my mom went through my mind. And the fact that I could actually be here to honor her is really special to us. Sure. What do you think she'd say? I think she'd give me a big hug and say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And always remember the precious name of John Collis, beloved by his family, by his friends, by this country, Canada, and by so many here in France because of his faithful duty. 75 years after Sergeant Collis was killed, he was given a proper service with members of the Canadian Forces bringing in a small box with his remains inside, placing them next to the burial site where his other remains were already buried here at bretteville sur laz giving some sense of closure to his family generations after his death.